Hey Aggie fans, welcome back to the Whiteboard Opponent Preview. As always, I am your host, Blake Hatfield of USU Junkies, and this week we'll take a look at the Rams of Colorado State University. Colorado State is a team that is definitely hot right now, and they have who Coach Wells has called the hottest running back in the nation in Capri Bibbs. Interestingly enough about Capri Bibbs, that is both his name and his preferred street clothes. Bibbs isn't the only player for the Rams that is coming off of a good performance. Kicker Jared Roberts nailed a 52-yard field goal last week, and I'm Jared Roberts actually sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that before? Coming from the Rams. And I'm not sure that thing's going to go oh, 10 yards, but the man. kicker just got rocked. That's right. That's where I've heard that name. And I also remember hearing that hit from inside my house in Cache Valley. So Utah State's own Jake Thompson has also hit a 52-yard field goal recently. And Jake Thompson's looked like he had a lot of leg behind it. That probably could have been good for a, a few more yards back. So I kind of wanted to take a look at Roberts and see what kind of leg he had behind his. Interesting. He went with a different strategy in which instead of having his leg behind him, he went with both legs out in front of him. So that's interesting. The other interesting thing about this game coming up is Utah State will welcome back former bubble screen coordinator Dave Baldwin. If you like watching bubbles, Saturday is the only place where you can actually see more bubbles than the Lawrence Welk show. In all fairness to Dave Baldwin, he actually did do a really good job when he was at Utah State. He put up some really good numbers, and he did it at a time that really he only had to work with, uh, let's see, yeah, just three future NFL running backs. So really, truly impressive what he accomplished. Uh, being that we will potentially see a whole bunch of bubble screens on Saturday, I kind of wanted to walk through. We have a video clip where we can really see the anatomy of a bubble screen. So basically what you're going to want to do is stroll down the field as oblivious as you can possibly be. One of the teaching cues that the commentator actually used is to act like you're pushing a shopping cart. Uh, once you get hit, you really want both legs to swing all the way up. The higher the better. Really want to get that follow through. And that's all to achieve the ideal position of landing squarely on your back. The other thing we get from that clip is you can see where the name bubble screen comes from. Bubble, because you act like you're in your own personal protective bubble. And screen, because after executing one, you must be screened for a concussion. So Aggie fans, we have a new segment this week that we're going to call the Heckle Sheet. We throw it out to the fans, allow you to tweet in any jokes or any sign ideas, chant ideas, any dirt that you have on the upcoming opponent. We actually received one really good submission this week from Calvin McKelkey. He mentions that Colorado State's kicker, Jared Roberts, changed his number from 94 to 47 this year. Someone is afraid of Dowdy, and he hashtags it, not fooling us, and here comes Jake. So it, if you don't know what he's referring to at this point in the video, I really can't help you. But I will anyways. He's referring to this. Thank you, Calvin, for tweeting in. And for all of you watching, keep your head up. Happy run stopping and bubble popping. Use the loofah. Loofah, 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 loofah. Shine as we shine as we shine.